But uh, let's head over to. Whoop! It's all gone. It's all gone. Uh, but I already have Logic Pro X already. Excuse me, loaded up right here. And we are going to take a look. Are uh, you doing feedback right? Now? Yeah, I'll do some feedback right now. Why not? Sure. I was just gonna. Yeah, just uh, toss a link in the chat, and I'll uh, I'll do that feedback. Or if you really need to uh, to email it to me, I can take an email as well. That uh, that also works. Uh, would you prefer Logic over other DAWs? Uh, why do you prefer Logic over other DAWs? I really like the simplicity. Uh, Logic is what I started producing on uh, initially. So Logic to me is just like a safe space. It's like my home away from home. So my bread and butter is Pro Tools. I uh, I mainly use Pro Tools when I'm when I'm dealing with uh, recording, mixing, mastering. Uh, but then I save Logic as a fun place for me for when I do my production because Logic is so user friendly. I can do whatever it is that I want in Logic and not really have to work. Like I can still get as detailed and nitty gritty as I want to. But then when I'm done with it, I can bounce all my MIDI as audio, move it all over to Pro Tools and then uh, mix it in there because that's more like my mix. Uh, but or my mixing DAW. But when I'm in when I'm in Logic, it's just more. It's just really user friendly, super easy. Uh, I can do everything that I want to do in another DAW, but I don't know. I've just made that connect in my head already. When I go into Logic, it's fun. When I go into Pro Tools, that's work. Like I'm usually working on like a client's work where I really have to focus. Uh, what do you think of FL Studio? Uh, I'm not the biggest fan, personally. I've tried using it on other people's laptops. I've never downloaded it for myself. Uh, but I know it's super duper user friendly, probably rivaling Logic and user friendliness. That's a word now, user friendliness. Um, it's probably rivaling Logic and how and how easy it is to, to hop in and just use it right away. But uh, unfortunately, it's just it just didn't fit with me. And I was already using Logic at the time. Actually, no, I was using uh, a worse program called Soundtrap that actually operates within Google Chrome, and it was still in beta when I was starting starting to use it. So it's it's great now because uh, Spotify bought it. But um, but it was terrible before, and that's what I was using. I just got used to that, and I didn't feel like you know downloading FL Studio. Hey Sam, Sam J S Stone or oh, Sam J Stones. Wow, I swear I'm gonna get better at reading these names. But uh, but thank you so much for the follow, man. Hope to see you in some more streams, and I'm getting ready to uh, to listen to your track there. But FL Studio, it's a it's a good DAW. It's just I don't know me personally. I, I it didn't fit with me. If it works with you, it works with you. I know some people like um, like my buddy. He's also a uh, an artist out of Ottawa. I live in Ottawa, uh, Ottawa, Canada. For those of you who don't know, and um, you know he uh, he produced at FL Studio. His name's Icy Turner. And uh, he produces, mixes, masters, records, everything within, uh, he went to the same college uh, program as I do. So he's just as proficient in Pro Tools as I am. Um, but he still uses FL Studio just because it works for him. Uh, you can do everything that you wanted, that you need to do within FL and it works for him. But for me, you know, it all comes down to user preference in the end. Um, 